Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be really fun to do a dupe of a really expensive pair of Disney ears that I had found on shopdisney.com. I think that this is the most expensive that I have found of the mini ears. And suffice to say, I was shocked because the pair that is being offered currently on shopdisney.com, and I kid you not, is $750. And the ears that I decided to replicate are the $750 pairs. It's kind of crazy because there are reviews on the ears and reviews typically mean that people have purchased um, these ears and honestly the reviews are not that great. A lot of people are saying that they are poorly made, they look cheap, the gemstones that are used look like they're ones that you can find at Joann's and Michael's so they're not the highest of quality gemstone and for $750 I expect it to be covered in 14 karat gold at that point because wow. Being that my channel is a DIY channel for the most part I decided to take it upon myself to recreate these ears for way, 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 way less than $750. And believe it or not, they actually look, in my opinion, better than the ears that are being offered on the website. So these are the ears, and I just absolutely loved how they turned out. Quite honestly, I don't think you'd be able to tell that I did not pay $750 for these. So um, these are what they look like. Really, really pretty, and I just love that they sparkle and shine, and they're stunning. So I did go ahead and print out what those ears look like. These are the $750 ears, which you can tell they just don't look like it's worth $750 in my opinion for sequins and Michael's jewels that you can easily find. So these are the pair of ears that we're going to recreate in this video. So if you are interested, stay tuned and let's get into the video. I found this gold sequin fabric on Amazon and I'm using my ear template and just roughly cutting out enough fabric to cover two ears. The sequin fabric is pretty sheer, so I do need an additional layer. I had in my stash this really pretty gold um, satin fabric from Hobby Lobby that I got as a remnant for about $1.50. And I'm going to cut out enough fabric, again, to cover two ears. Now I'm going to cut each of the two fabric pieces into two additional pieces. So I'm separating it out to have a front and a back. Now we're going to form a fabric sandwich. So you're going to take your right sides together of your sequin fabric, take your satin fabric, with the right side face down on the top and then on the bottom, the right side face up. So all the right sides are facing toward one another. And essentially for that top piece, I'm going to trace my ear template around that one piece using the um, disappearing ink pen. And then I'm going to place that right back on top of the sandwich, do that again for the second ear and I don't show this on camera, but you're basically going to sew around the ear with the exception of the bottom. You do want to leave the bottom curved part open.
Now, after you've gone ahead and sewn around both of your ears, again, leaving the bottom part unsewn, you're going to go ahead and cut all that extra fabric, leaving about a quarter of an inch around the ear itself, just so it doesn't come apart. And you're gonna repeat that for both ears. So now we're gonna turn our ears inside out and I'm going to use this chopstick just so I can get in there and make sure that all of the edges are completely turned inside out and it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take our foam slash cardboard ear template and I'm going to trace this around this flexible foam board that I found at Michael's and this is just to provide some additional flexibility but also it's a little bit more stable than cardboard in the long run. Now I'm going to take the foam cutouts and we're going to place them inside of the ears themselves. So I'm going to fold it in half and just carefully maneuver it into each of the ears. So it's time to fill using some fiber fill or polyfill and you're essentially going to stuff it to your heart's desire in the front and the back of the foam board. So this is really up to you how puffy you want your ears, but I like to just make sure that they're both even on both sides. close the bottoms of the ears you're going to do a whip stitch so I'm going to tie a pretty big knot at the end of my thread and starting on one side you're going to do your whip stitch and as you go along the edges you're just going to fold all of that extra fabric inside the ear so you'll see it'll look like a little sandwich as you keep folding the fabric down.
once you've sewn both ears, you're going to now attach it to the headband. And I use a pre-existing mini mouse ear headband that I have and just use it as a gauge just for placement purposes. And then once I find where I like the ears, I will go ahead and mark them with a silver Sharpie or whatever pen you have that you can actually see the markings for. And then starting at the corner, I am using some black thread to correspond with the color of the headband. And I'm gonna start alternating between sewing the ear and sewing the headband. And I'm gonna go around, I like to go around about four times just to make sure that those ears are completely secure, but you're going to do this on both sides of each of the ears. Now it's time to bejewel your ears. And I found these really beautiful jewels, gems from Amazon. And it came with a silver back, which I had removed because otherwise the jewels were sitting too high up on the ears. And then I'm also using some Michael's jewels that I found and had in my stash. And this was a variety pack and it came with clear, like a more clear gold jewel and then a mirrored finish. And I really was looking for the mirror, mirrored finish. So I plucked all of those out as many as I could from that pack. And now we're just going to use some Fabri-Tac and with using the reference photos, I'm just gonna kind of get a sense of where I want the jewels to be placed, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of whatever pattern you want for these ears. So both sides of the ears are completely bejeweled and beautiful and now it's time for the bow. Now I'm using a bow tie that is from Amazon and I cut the back part off. Now if you're really good at making bows, which I'm still learning, um, you can definitely just make one yourself but I decided to do the semi homemade route and just get a pre-made one off of Amazon and like I said it was a bow tie so I just removed the strap that is around the bow tie and I just hot glued that bow into place and just fluffed it up a little bit. I'm taking this gold braiding that I found at Joann's and I'm going to hot glue that onto the inside of the headband just to give it a little bit more comfort and wearability. And we are done. I think that this pair of ears turned out so well and for under $20, it beats paying $750 for sure.
All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope, I really hope, no matter how big of a Disney fan you are, please don't go out and spend $750 for mini ears. That is insanity personified. And I was actually doing some more research and there is a Mickey cap hat that I will link here that is going for a thousand dollars literally covered in the same sequins and gemstones and I couldn't believe that so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for more Disney content to come I have some more DIYs coming so it's really important for you guys not to miss out so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos from me so until next time take care and I will see you guys in my next video bye